Hey. I have a question for you. Why wasn't it me? It's been 25 years since Sex and the City first aired on HBO, introducing us to four fabulous women living and loving in New York City. The show became a cultural phenomenon, spawning two movies, a prequel series, and a revival that premiered in 2021. But what have the stars of the original show been up to since we last saw them on the big screen in 2010? Let's take a look at how they have changed over the years and what they're working on now. Speaking of high school, I saw my high school sweetheart, and I think I might like him again. Number one, Sarah Jessica Parker. Then, Sarah Jessica Parker was 33 years old when she played Carrie Bradshaw, the witty and fashionable columnist who chronicled her romantic adventures and misadventures with her three best friends. Carrie was known for her iconic outfits, her love of shoes, and her on and off relationship with Mr. Big. She was also a fashion icon known for her quirky fashion sense and her endless quest for love. Now, Parker is currently 58 years old and still a style icon. She has launched her own shoe line, SJP by Sarah Jessica Parker, and her own book imprint, SJP for Hogarth. She has also starred in several movies and TV shows, such as Divorce, Here and Now, and Hocus Pocus 2. She has also reprised her role as Carrie in the Sex and the City revival, titled And Just Like That, which explores how characters deal with life in their 50s. She's been married to actor Matthew Broderick since 1997, and they have three children together. See that guy? He's the next Donald Trump, except he's younger and much better looking. Number 2. Kim Cattrall Then, Kim Cattrall was 42 years old when she started playing Samantha Jones, the confident and adventurous publicist who was always looking for love and pleasure. Of the four, she is the most sexually promiscuous, and most of her storylines revolve around the frequent sex she has. She is confident, strong, outspoken, and a self-proclaimed trisexual, meaning she will try anything once. Now, Kim Cattrall is 66 years old now and has continued to act in various movies and TV shows such as Midnight Crossing, Meet Monica Velour, Tell Me a Story, Filthy Rich, and How I Met Your Father. Cattrall has been married three times. Her first marriage from 1977 to 1979 was to Larry Davis, but it was annulled. Her second marriage from 1982 to 1989 was to Andre J. Lyson. Her third marriage from 1998 to 2004 was to American audio equipment designer Mark Levinson. The couple co-wrote the book, Satisfaction, The Art of the Female Orgasm. Carrie said, the worse the wedding, the better the marriage. Well, then I think Howie just got us to our silver. <laughs> Number 3. Kristen Davis Then, Kristen Davis was 33 years old when she played Charlotte York, the sweet and optimistic art dealer who dreamed of finding her Prince Charming. Charlotte was the most traditional and conservative of the four friends, often clashing with Samantha's more adventurous views on sex and relationships. Coming from a wealthy family, Charlotte appeared very preppy in the 1980s and 1990s as she spent the first three seasons trying to find the perfect man who checks off all of her boxes in the earlier part of the series but lowers her standards later in the series. Now, Kristen Davis is 58 years old in 2023, and she has continued to act in various projects, including movies, TV shows, and documentaries. She reprised her role as Charlotte in the two Sex and the City movies, as well as in the revival series and Just Like That. She also starred in the Netflix comedy Holiday in the Wild opposite Rob Lowe. She also played a leading role and produced the 2021 thriller film Deadly Illusions. The actress has adopted two children, a son and a daughter. I wasn't thinking. Do not follow me. Number 4. Cynthia Nixon Then, Cynthia Nixon was 32 years old when she played Miranda Hobbs, a successful lawyer and a cynical but loyal friend. Miranda was known for her sharp wit, her feminist views, and her complicated relationship with Steve, the father of her son Brady. In the early seasons, she is portrayed as masculine, but this image softens after the years, particularly after she becomes pregnant by her on-again, off-again boyfriend Steve Brady, whom she eventually marries. She is also very promiscuous, but is a long way from the promiscuity of Samantha Jones. 
Now, Cynthia Nixon is currently 57 years old and has been very busy since Sex and the City. She has starred in many movies, TV shows, and Broadway plays such as A Quiet Passion, The Only Living Boy in New York, and The Little Foxes. She is married to Christine Marinoni, an education activist, and they have a son together. She also has two children from her previous relationship with Danny Moses. It just got so hard. And she's... Yeah. Number 5. Chris Noth, then. Chris Noth was 43 years old when he starred in Sex and the City as Mr. Big, a successful businessman who had a complicated relationship with Carrie. He was charming, mysterious, and sometimes frustrating, but always irresistible to Carrie. He was Carrie's first and last love, and the two had a tumultuous romance that spanned six seasons and two movies. Mr. Big's real name was never revealed on the show until the final episode when Carrie called him John. He was also known for his expensive suits, his cigar smoking, and his penthouse apartment. Now, Chris Noth is now 68 years old and still working as an actor. He has appeared in several TV shows and movies since Sex and the City, such as Law & Order Criminal Intent, Chronically Metropolitan, The Good Wife, Gone, and Manhunt, Unabomber. He is married to actress Tara Wilson, whom he met in 2002. They were married on April 6, 2012. They have two sons together, Orion and Keats. Expected Batman to win because he's got the gadgets and the cape and shit. But the Green Hornet had the moves. See, I'm the Green Hornet. I got the moves. Number 6. John Corbett. Then, Aiden Shaw was played by John Corbett, who was 37 years old when he first appeared on Sex and the City in 2000. He portrayed a laid-back, down-to-earth, and loyal guy who was the opposite of Carrie's other love interest, Mr. Big. He proposed to Carrie twice, but she broke his heart both times. He also had a brief fling with Samantha in Season 4. Now, John Corbett is now 62 years old and still working as an actor. He has starred in several movies and TV shows such as My Big Fat Greek Wedding, Northern Exposure, United States of Terra, and Parenthood. He is also a musician and has released two country albums. He recently made headlines for revealing that he secretly married his longtime girlfriend, actress Bo Derek, in 2020. They have been together since 2002 and live on a ranch in Santa Ynez, California. Stanford. Cute, huh? I've had it with the whole gay scene. Number 7. Willie Garson Then, Garson was 34 years old when he played Stanford Blatch, Carrie's loyal and witty gay best friend who always had her back. He is a talent agent from an aristocratic family with a sense of style paralleled only by Carrie's. Stanford is professionally a success and greatly enjoys working with attractive young men, occasionally the same targets as the girls, but has a better instinct to tell which share his preference. Now, Garson sadly passed away in September 2021 after a battle with pancreatic cancer. He had filmed some scenes for the reboot series and just like that before his death. He was also known for his role in White Collar, Hawaii Five-0, and Supergirl. He was a single father to his adopted son, Nathan. Look at Dad, huh? I love you. I love you. Number 8. David Eggenberg. Then, David Eggenberg was 34 years old in 1998 when he first appeared on Sex and the City as Steve Brady. He was a sweet and simple guy who worked as a bartender at a local pub. He was Miranda's one-night stand bartender who won't take no for an answer. He was loyal, funny, and supportive of Miranda, even when she was cold and distant. He and Miranda eventually got married and had a son named Brady. Now, David Eggenberg reprised his role as Steve Brady in the two Sex and the City movies 2008 and 2010, as well as in the revival series and just like that. He also starred as Christopher Herman, a firefighter and entrepreneur, on the NBC drama Chicago Fire in 2012. He has been nominated for two Screen Actors Guild Awards for his performance on the show. He has been happily married to Christy Eggenberg since 2002, and they have two children together, a son named Louis and a daughter named Myrna. The actor is currently 58 years old. Are you all right? Jeez. Hey. Right. Are you all right? Oh, um, yeah, yeah, I think so. 
Number 9. Kyle McLaughlin Then, Kyle McLaughlin was 39 years old in 1998 when he first appeared on Sex and the City. He played Trey McDougal, a wealthy and handsome doctor who swept Charlotte off her feet with a fairy tale romance. However, their marriage soon faced problems due to Trey's erectile dysfunction and his meddling mother. Kyle McLaughlin was already an established actor before joining Sex and the City, having starred in cult classics like Twin Peaks, Blue Velvet, and Dune. Now, Kyle McLaughlin is currently 64 years old and has continued to work in both film and television, appearing in shows like Desperate Housewives, How I Met Your Mother, and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. He also reprised his role as Agent Dale Cooper in the 2017 revival of Twin Peaks, which received critical acclaim. He has been happily married to Desiree Gruber, a producer and publicist since 2002. They have a son named Callum, who was born in 2008.